Good morning again, everybody. So I wanted to do a key opening. Um, I've been saving keys up, as I'm sure the rest of you have as well, uh, for the new update with the new civilizations and the new commanders. And um, I figured just knowing that Constantine and Saladin are not in the, uh, the tavern list, so just to show you what I'm talking about, if you go to the rewards list button, um, it's just Mehmed. It's not uh, Constantine or Saladin. So I'd imagine those are probably going to be Wheel of Fortune uh, commanders or some kind of special event. So with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and look at what I've got. So I've saved up 106 silver keys and 104 gold keys, and hopefully we're going to be getting a lot of the new commanders. Um, I'm working on a few other commanders as well that look like they're going to pair pretty well with some of the new commanders too. Um, just to recap what we've got for the new commanders, uh, the ones that I'm really going after, obviously Mehmed being a primary one, crazy nuking AoE, which I'm a huge fan of AoE nuking, uh, as you can see by one of my other videos on Sun Tzu's AoE. Uh, that would also lend really well to Alliance versus Alliance or Alliance Battlegrounds uh, that's coming up in a week or so. Um, Again, troop attack and skill damage is always a huge thing, and with it being on the second skill, the more sculptures I can get for him, the better. <clears throat> um, city attacking is always great. Troop capacity is always 100% great. Um, and then a rallied, a rallied attack bonus is always good, too. And then the expertise being uh, just buffing the primary skill, which is always uh, going to be a beneficial thing for uh, legendary commanders. So... Let's go ahead and jump into the tavern and get started. Um, I'm going to go through the silver keys first because I feel like I'm going to get at least a few of the sculptures for the um, for the epic commanders. And plus, I need some resources because I'm trying to jump into Clan Hall 24 here as quickly as possible. So let's get started. Uh, all greens. That's no bueno. Let me go ahead and not jump back to the thing every time. We all need City Keeper, right? Let's just keep going until we get a purple. Oh, luck is not on my side this morning. Oh, he's already maxed out. All right, we're not getting any purple this morning. No epic so far, not even a star or Tome of Knowledge. I'll tell you what, once I get to 50, I'm going to go ahead and open all, just so we can speed through. I've already got Sun Tzu maxed out, the one epic I get. Come on, let's get, uh, let's get a really good new epic commander sculpture. That's what I'm looking for for my silver keys. I don't need to know goes in. Not even close. Uh, star. Another star. Okay, at least I'm getting some stars now. Give me some legendary commanders. Come on. Elite and uh, whatever they call them, advanced or whatever. There we go. There's a Belisarius sculpture. Um, it only took about 30 keys. So at this rate, I'll get two more sculptures uh, for epic commanders. Let's see. Let's keep going. All right, I'm just going to plow to 50 so I can push through because this is uh, obviously a little boring. I could always use some Yulji uh, sculptures, so that's good. Let's keep going. I'm just going to keep smashing the uh, open another button so that we can get to 50, and then I'm going to hit the 50. Because everybody, everybody's here for the gold keys, right? I mean, we want to see the gold keys. I swear if I get any more Lancelot, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> all right, that's to 50, and I'm just going to hit the 50 all. Yes, I do want to do that. One more legendary commander, Scipio, and a ton of the other junk that we don't need. So all in all, the silver keys were kind of a bust. Let's move on to the gold keys. Again, I've been saving these up for about a week and a half um, since the announcements for maybe two weeks, since the announcements for the uh, the new update. So uh, let's see if they pay off for us. 
first one. No. Oh. Got it. Let's do these one by one. I don't, uh, I need to feel like I've earned <laughs> 104 gold keys worth of openings. Kusunoki's all right. I definitely need some more Richard sculptures, YSG sculptures. Definitely good. I'll take that. Uh, 10 Joan of Arc. Eh. Already got her maxed out on the gathering stuff, so oh, Lancelot. Oh, Lancelot, what are you doing with your life? All right, let's keep going. I'll always take XP tomes. That's pretty good. I mean, good amount of sculptures, just not really the folks that I needed them on. Another Pelagius. I might get a level or two out of him if we keep going here. Let's keep going. Sun Tzu's already maxed, so I don't need that. Um, still older commanders. I mean, I, I do need them. It's not like I don't need them, but I waited all this time to get the new stuff, so give me the new stuff. <laughs> Scipio, another Lancelot. Richard, 10 Richard. Always happy to get 10 Richard. I will take that every day of the week. I know folks, because... Ronnie's very much about getting some folks into the game, so he invites newer players uh, to join him on his server that he's on. I don't want to say it's his server, but I mean he's a big deal on the server. Um, and I mean, some folks make two, three, four jumper accounts without um, getting a Richard. And I was lucky when I first started uh, on Kingdom Sixteen that uh, I got him like third key in. It, and it, you know sometimes you just get lucky. It's better to be lucky than good. Uh, this is certainly a really good gold key. Um, getting getting ten Richards is always a good thing. But it's just you know it, sometimes it's a little bit of a stab in the side whenever uh, you see in the chat. Oh, this is my third jumper account. I still haven't gotten Richard after you know however many keys you get from the map and you know burning a couple dollars on the recharge rewards to get more gold keys and still don't get them. And you know here he is. So. Uh, like I said, still building Richard, and even with uh, oh, what is it? Uh, even with uh, Saladin having the new skill that he's got, um, countering Richard, and you know, I, I was talking to Ronnie a little bit ago, and not only does he have the healing reduction to counter Richard, but he also has the skill damage increase and the skill damage reduction. Or no, he doesn't have a skill damage increase; he has a skill damage reduction just crazy um, how many really top flight skills Saladin has so <clears throat> really interesting to see how they're gonna pair up and and who's gonna be the best pairing for him but uh, Richard's still one of the best legendaries in the game if not the best um, for right now so I'm happy I'll, I'll keep going let's keep going on them see if we can get some more and of course, they gave me a really good gold key, so now they're going to give me a bunch of junk. Oh, we'll take a, a chow chow, a little double C action. That sounds good. There's a 10 Julius Caesar. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say I'm lucky, but I, I will say I'm I will say I'm lucky. I mean, I, I've been getting some really good gold keys before I started saving them up. Um, and then, you know, sometimes, I mean, look at this. Frederick 5. I, I could always use some more Cleos. I, I think I need probably 60 more total sculptures to max her second skill because I won the uh, the the supply box event uh, top 10 oh, there we go Osman and Sun Tzu jeez um, I won the supply box I don't think I was number six or something like that I didn't win it but uh, got I think it was 45 Cleo sculptures Cleopatra sculptures so um, just trying to get her second skill maxed out so she can be a really good gatherer and Everything else down the road will just be, you know, icing on the cake at that point because I'm, I'm just using them for gathering. And once I get enough troops, that's the biggest thing right now is just getting more troops um, to bring to the battlefield. Um, I'll have a, you know, third or fourth group that'll have Cleopatra's um, good healer slash defense for everybody around me, which will be really nice. But Osman the first, uh, three sculptures for him. I'm happy to get that. Uh, Sun Tzu, again, I've already maxed him out, so of course they're going to just completely spam me with Sun Tzu now, so that's just how the game works, I think. Uh, another 10 of Tomoe, don't need that. Uh, bundle Scholar Sculptures, I'll take that. Let's see. 
more XP tomes. I can always use more XP tomes, especially with the new commanders. Um, not getting a whole lot of the new commanders, just a lot more of the same stuff. Um, Gaius is Gaius. A couple Boudicas is fine. Um, let's see. Scipio, more Chow Chow. I'll take that. Let's see. I'm really wanting to get Mehmed, but I mean, <laughs> so far through, what is it, 40 keys, I've gotten zero of Mehmed. Okay, I'll take Buy Bars. Not one of my premier epic ones from the new list, but um, I'll take a 10 spot for a, an epic new commander. I wish Lancelot was a little higher. There's two more Buy Bars. That's a pretty good one. A lot of sculptures on that. Anytime I can get sculptures, because those are the one things you just can't buy in the game. I mean, you can get universal sculptures uh, from the VIP shop using gems, but definitely not legendary unless you're VIP 13, I think, which, I mean, that's that's ways off for me. I'm not putting any more money into the VIP um, shop to gain levels. It's just not going to happen. More Chow Chow. You know, i got to say, yeah, Austin the First, 10 spot. Love it. I mean, I gotta say, I'm 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 feeling the luck on on these gold keys. I'll get a couple duds, and then, boom, ten ten spot for an uh, an epic commander, or uh, you know, five legendary chow chows. I've been I've been pretty happy so far with this, and certainly the ten uh, Richard sculptures. There's two more Cleos that'll give me another level right there. I've got thirty. Uh, let's see, Herman eh. Sarka. A couple more Julius Caesars, I'll take that. Don't need any more Tomoe, don't need any more Gaius. Two more Cleopatras. I mean, I'm not too upset with the Cleopatras. I, I know that some people get upset because it's, you know, she's basically a gatherer, but eventually she's going to be more than a gatherer. There's 10 El Cid's. Um, don't really plan on leveling him up anytime soon. He's going to be on the list, but towards the bottom. Uh, so, you know, we'll keep going. More Yulgis is good. More Richards, I'll always take more Richards. <laughs> I have no problems getting some more Richard sculptures anytime they want to throw those in the, the list. I really need Mechmed though. I want to see a 10 spot of Mechmed. Like that's what I want to see. 10 Kusunoki, I, I'm still leveling him up. Again, I, I am really focusing on the AoE stuff. So like I said, I've already got Sun Tzu maxed out. I am working on Kusunoki to get him maxed out. Um, I've got YSG's first skill maxed out, and I'm trying to get Mechmed so I can get his first skill maxed out, because um, those are going to be the the big heavy AOE hitters. Um, let's keep going. There's some more El Cid. I mean, El Cid is El Cid. I'm not going to be upset about that, but okay. That means I just got something, and I'm looking at the transparency, and I think it's Mechmed. That's very exciting if I just got him. I'm going to get this too because this is a one of the best bundles you can get in the game by far, hands down. The XP, the sculptures, and the stars, and the gems, and the VIP point. I mean, everything in this bundle is the best. So I'm going to I'm gonna close it out because I can get it. Yes. Mechmed. Boom. This is where it's at. I'm going to save a screenshot of this because um, this is going to be the thumbnail for the video. So confirm. That is a pull. 10 mech meds. All right. Let's open another. Let's get some more mech meds. I need that first skill maxed out, right? All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Bundle, scar Bundle Starlight Sculpture. You know, I'll take stars all day. I'd prefer sculptures. Like sculpture sculptures, <laughs> not star sculptures. There's Frederick. Uh, Frederick's another one that I think is going to be really good in the end game. You just got to get him leveled up uh, with his skills. But um, there's more Richard. I will take Richard all day. All right, another kind of dud. Another kind of dud. Let's um, let's keep rolling. I'll take ten more Yulgis. That's a that's a good one. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah, guys. Lots of Richard sculptures, lots of uh, extra legendary and epic sculptures, and getting that Mechmed just made my day. That is a good pull. And I'm excited to get that new bundle because um, I've already gotten all the bundles for the other legendary commanders. So 
Um, always looking to get uh, more of those because those are really good. Yeah, nothing, nothing happening. Let's get some more Mechmed or Richard or something. There's another Eulogy. I mean, I, I'm, I do plan on feeling two, um, two groups of infantry in the field. Eulogy with maybe Scipio or uh, now that we've got Bel uh, not Belisarius, Constantine as another uh, really nice legendary commander for infantry. I might, I might, uh, I might pair him up once he's released to the the masses um, with Eulogy. But I do plan on having probably a Richard Charles group and then a Eulogy and either Scipio or um, Constantine as well. I really wish uh, that they would release. And of course, you know we're two hours, two and a, three hours into the the new update. So of course, I'm like, give me, give me, give me all the information. But um, I wish they would release how they're going to release the new legendary commanders, the two that are not in the the tavern. Um, again, more Osman, more YSG. I will not complain uh, with that pull at all. I will complain with this pull because <laughs> it's got nothing that I'm looking for. Two more Belisarius. That's good. I liken Belisarius to like another Scipio with a little bit more um, versatility, maybe. There's some more Richard. We'll take Richard all day. All right, keep going. We're down to five. Um, I think overall the 100 keys were worth it. Definitely worth it to wait um, to get that Mechmed 10 spot. Uh, two more keys left. Another buy bars. I'll take that. I was hoping to get a 10 of uh, Belisarius, but we will... Just continue to plug away at some of the other uh, gold keys as we get them. So they, I'm almost, I've almost got enough to summon Belisarius. So let's confirm that we're all out of keys. Let's go back to Commander. So there's eight actions that I can take here. Let's go to the summoning because I mean that's really where it's at, right? Well, I guess we've already kind of summoned everything, huh? Yeah. So there's buy bars. You got your cavalry, conquering, and skill tree, which is nice. And on my last video, I kind of went over some of these skills uh, just to show you what uh, they've got. Let's go ahead and upgrade his first skill here since we've got the sculptures for it. And then same thing for Osman. I think I've got enough sculptures. Oh, just short, just short. Um, that's a pretty good skill too. Um, looks like I do have enough to upgrade Elsid's first skill to three, which, you know, again, don't really use him too much, but uh, I'll take it. Uh, definitely plan on looping in Chow Chow once I get him leveled up, but he's going to be one of those ones that just take forever. Uh, along with Julius Caesar, same thing. Um, I'll get his skip first skill level four. Uh, got a lot of Julius Caesar sculptures there. Uh, same thing with Frederick. He's going to be a really, really good, powerful open field commander. Uh, even a, for City Siege, too, pairing him up with maybe one of the new uh, legendary commanders for City Siege would not be a bad idea. The new king that he's got, maybe pairing him up with uh, uh, Saladin wouldn't be a bad idea, or Mechmed with the uh, enhanced uh, skill damage for 30%. That, in combination with Frederick, would be a really solid, um, really solid pairing. So I will put her gathering skill up to three. I just need... Maybe I do need a little more than I thought. So 40 here, and I think it's either 40 or 45 or 50 for the one after this one. So, yeah, another 80 or so sculpture. So I just got to win, you know, or get placed highly in the uh, the supply, supply box uh, events to get those sculptures and get that to where I want to be. Uh, but not certainly first priority at all. Not burning any universal sculptures at all on, on Cleopatra. Uh, looks like I can go ahead and level up Pelagius. One more time. Kusunoki, definitely. And he's almost max. So I've got maybe six more skills, skill points to do. Uh, no, five. Five more skill points to do for Kusunoki, and he will be maxed out. And um, the expertise is good, not great. Just upping attack and defense by 5% for archers. The primary nuke is not bad because it's obviously AoE. And then... Um, you have a 10% chance to deal additional 450 uh, damage factor. So he's one of those ones where you'll just start seeing the red numbers just pop up all the time. Uh, kind of like a Frederick. Kind of like uh, some of the other additional damage factor uh, nukers. 
So I think that's it, guys. I um, went ahead and updated all my commanders from the, the pull. Definitely excited about this guy. Um, I want to just dump <laughs> what little legendary sculptures I've got left into him. Um, man, he's going to be good. He's going to be very good. I, I think I'm going to stop. And I hate switching the commanders I'm working on. Like, I just... I'm a firm believer in whenever you are working on a commander, the best thing you can do is just keep working on that commander until he's maxed and then move on to the next one. And that's what I did with YSG. Once I got Richard to where I wanted him to and, and Sun Tzu where I wanted him to, Lohar just kind of worked his way up on his own. Um, I was working on Kusunoki a little bit, leveling him up. Same thing with Pelagius because I wanted to get Pelagius with Minamoto rolling and I was going to buy you know, a couple more of his packs to get him leveled up, you know, pretty well. And then I would just need to work on his experience. But instead of YSG, I probably will just shift to Mechmed. I mean, Mechmed is just lights out one of the best commanders in the game. And then once we get um, Saladin in the game too, then I'm going to be even more conflicted because <laughs> I want to have uh, I want to have all these guys leveled up as much as possible. I'm, I'm excited about Constantine. Everybody that I've seen so far is just absolutely flipping out about this healing skill. I, I just don't see it being a game changer. Like, it's it's a good skill. Don't get me wrong. And if you're, if you're defending, which again, I think that's, again, Constantine was the defender of Constantinople. Um, you know, or, you know, now Istanbul uh, in modern times. But he was the defender of that city from Ekmed uh, and a couple other commanders before him. So, you know, it it makes sense, this skill, from a historical standpoint, and it certainly makes skill makes sense when you're talking about being a defender because you can, theoretically, the more I'm thinking about it, if, if he is your garrison commander... Can you pair him and Richard up as garrison commanders? And when you get to 50%, the heal goes off. And then Richard heals you back above 50%. And then you go back below 50% again. Do you get the heal again? Does it just constantly keep healing? Because, I mean, if that's the case, you would never go below 50% um, with Constantine and Richard together. Because between this heal hitting every time you hit 50%, and a Richard heal when he uses his skill. I mean, I would think that unless you're getting like quadruple rallied or something like that, you you would always be going back above 50%, at least, you know, 0.1 of a percent. So uh, that'd be interesting to see. Of course, it's going to be really hard to, to get him in your your roster, but then also get him leveled up to the point where you're, you're talking about his fourth skill being max. So um, it'll be interesting, I, you know, until that point, certainly, I don't see him being a huge um, problem on the battlefield. I know that some of the other skills are really nice, and uh, the infantry health bonus and his primary skill are definitely good. But to me, <clears throat> until you max him out, which there's a lot of commanders that are like that, until you max him out, you're just not going to see his full benefit. So, um, again, kind of getting off topic. The gold key and silver keys were great. Uh, silver keys, not so much, <laughs> but, you know, you expect what you expect there. But the gold key opening was excellent. Getting a 10-figure um, sculpture for Medmed, getting all those Richards. I got a, I got a 10 sculpture for, for Richard, and then 2 and 3 and 5 a couple times in there. That was great. Getting another skill level on uh, Julius, on Chow Chow, on El Cid. Um, couple skill levels on some of my other epic commanders like uh, Pelagius and um, Kusunoki. And I've got extra, <laughs> I've got extra Sun Tzu sculptures and I'm wondering what they're going to do with that down the road. I, I feel like instead of using those for stars, which you can get stars pretty much without a problem, I've got a feeling that they're going to be either adding skills or adding another use or Maybe they'll bump up the current skills to a sixth level or something like that, or they'll add a secondary expertise that you got to use sculptures for. I don't know, but um, something that they're going to do, I'm sure. So 
I'm going to keep all that stuff. I'm not going to change them into stars. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, that's it for the gold, star, uh, gold key and silver key opening. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave some comments below if you liked this video. I think um, overall this is probably one of the first 10 MechMed videos that you'll see um, since the release because, again, it's only been out for three hours. Uh, so uh, I enjoyed this opening. If you want to see more of this stuff, just please comment below and let me know what you all think. Otherwise, hope you all have a great day, and cheers. Take care.